Good day everyone. My name is Abuladi Olawi and I'm here to teach you on how to use SOFA to plot topographical map. The first thing you need to get is your coordinates, that is the, your nothings, your eastings, and your height. The height value is needed to plot the contour map because the contours is actually what will show the elevation of your ground. So I have my points in Excel format. Descent is volume to put data. You can see there's eastings, there's nothings, and there is height. These are my coordinates. So I've saved it in a folder. So I'll close it, then I'll open Sofa 10. I have my Sofa 10 already. So after launching my Sofa 10, the first thing to do is to go to the grid and click on data. After clicking on data, you will navigate to where you save your Excel file, where you have your listing, nothing, and height. So it's Pelumi Topo data. Then I'll click on it, then I'll open it. Now, to show me this panel, before I continue, I will go back to my Excel data and I will show you something there. The Eastings is the title for my Eastings, the Northings is the title for my Northings, and Z height is the title for my, for my height. So I gave it a title. So I, I expect you to, to, have, to give it a title when you want to do yours. So X, that's column A, the name is Eastings. If I want to change it, I can actually change it. So, but the, for this, this is the normal one. This X equals to Eastings, Y equals to Northings, and Z equals to Height. So, the grading method, the grading method, you can use any method you like, but the most widely used is the grading. The grading is the most widely used. So, you will see some other parameters about your data here the minimum value of X, the maximum value of Y, the spacing, the minimum value of, and so on and so forth. Then by clicking OK, you create a report. So click OK, you can save the report and just save it. It will definitely go to the format, to the folder where we created. So I will save it. Then I can close it. Then I'll come to my map and I'll click on new. Then I will come to contour map. On clicking on contour map, it will ask me to go back to the folder where I saved my, my Excel format. My Excel table, then I'll click the volume to put data there. Now open it. You can see this is my topograph map. You can see the contours. Let me zoom in to see it. Click here, then the area you want it to show. You can see this is the contour map. You can do some basic editing to the contour map. I've taken it away by double clicking on the contour. You can see you can increase the, the interval, you can reduce the interval, the, the levels. This the contour tower is 0 0.2. If I change it to 0 0.1, 0 0.1, you can see there are many more contours there. So I will leave it at 0 0.2, 0 0.2, then enter. You can see it, it looks nice. You can add title to it and all that stuff to it. And this is how to plot your contour map using Sophie map. Using Sofa, sorry. Then the next thing is how to add other maps. That is, we have post map, we have class post map, we have image, we have shaded relief, and this 3D surface and 3D wireframe is much useful to, to, to show the, the 3D presentation of how your how, how our surface looks like. So I'm clicking on this, I'm clicking on volume put topo data again, open, you can see it. Let me remove the, the previous thing, which you can see the wireframe this is how the, the land look like you can see it so i will delete i will still delete this one sorry so i will delete this go to map again click on new then 3d surface you see how it look like open you can see how it look like and this is how to plot contour map and 3D surface using so far. Thank you very much.